Hi, my name is David Feinstein, and I'm the literacy educator at the Eric Carl Museum of Picture Book Art. Thank you so much for joining our story time with the Carl, our weekly read along series. Before we start today's book, I have a quick question for everyone out there. How are you feeling right now? Maybe you're feeling tired. If you're feeling tired, can you give a big stretch and yawn? <sighs> Maybe you're feeling silly. If you're feeling silly, can you make a silly face? Or maybe you're feeling grumpy today, and that's okay too. If you're feeling grumpy, go ahead and make a grumpy face. Or maybe you're feeling happy. If you're feeling happy, make a happy face. I'm feeling pretty happy today because I get to do one of my favorite things which is share picture books. And I'm especially happy today because I'm sharing one of my favorite picture books. And it's called Layla's Happiness by Mary Adessa Akeri Talley and illustrated by Ashley Corin. Big thanks to Enchanted Lion for giving us permission to share this book with you. Now, one of the things that I absolutely love about this book is how good it makes me feel. If I'm feeling grumpy or tired or sad, reading this book helps, me make, helps make me feel strong and calm and happy. Now, happiness means different things. It can mean different things for all of us. In this book, we're going to discover what makes Layla happy. And on our cover, we can see Layla wearing a bright yellow dress and blowing on a dandelion. Let's open up the book and see what else makes Layla happy. On our title page, we can see Layla doing cartwheels. That looks fun. Mm. Layla's Happiness by Mary Adessa Akeri Talley, illustrated by Ashley Corin. My name is Layla. I am seven years old. You can see Layla lying in the dark grass, looking up at those yellow balls of light. Maybe they're fireflies. Layla means night beauty, and I love Dark sky is pretty. It's the color of dark purple plums. We can see Layla biting into a big juicy plum. Let's pretend to grab one of those plums and take a big bite ourselves. Mm. Full moon, well, it's my favorite. It sits in the sky like a wish flower's sister. If I could reach the moon, I'd blow on it and wish to play the trumpet well without ever having to practice. If you could reach the moon, what would you wish for? Let's take a moment to think about our wish. It could be 
a wish that you say out loud, or you can keep it a secret. But let's close our eyes, and on three, we'll make our wish and glow on the moon. All right. When you've thought of your wish, glow on the moon. One, two, three. <sighs> I see all these wishes floating in the sky. I think happiness is climbing a tree. We can see Layla swinging from the branches and there's a butterfly that matches her yellow and black dress. Or wearing purple. What's Layla wearing that's purple? Super cool purple sunglasses and a magical purple cape. Or eating spaghetti without a fork. How does Layla do that? She slurps it up without even using her hands. That looks fun. Let's pretend and try it. Are you ready? On three, let's slurp up our spaghetti. One, two, three. <laughs> it's my dad. When he talks about growing up in South Carolina, And my mom, when she reads me poetry. Happiness is planting a tomato seed and watching it grow in my favorite place, the community garden down the block. In the garden, I can dance with a ladybug on my finger. Let's pretend that we have a ladybug on our finger. Can you make it go up and down and round and round? Can you make your bug, can you make your ladybug zigzag? Mm -hmm. And land back on Layla's finger. I see butterflies and chase my friend, Juan. I can feed chickens and give all the trees names. I can even pick vegetables to sell at our farmer's market. What vegetables has Layla grown? You see lettuce, string beans, squash, some tomatoes, red and yellow tomatoes, and carrots. The next pages don't have any words, but there are so many things happening at the farmer's market. We see People selling all of the beautiful stuff that they've grown on their farms. Pickles, flowers, jam. Can you spot Layla? 
There she is in her bright yellow dress selling the vegetables that she's helped to grow. I think happiness is hearing Juan's parents laugh after they dance salsa under the magnolia tree. And when the sea reaches into her pocket to give me a sand dollar, I think happiness is showing my mom the outer space flowers in my kaleidoscope. And here we can see Layla in her room full of purple holding a garland with all the letters in her name, L-A-Y-L-A. -L -A. That's what I think. Do you think so too? What is happiness to you? This is such a beautiful book and it ends with such a big, important question about what happiness means to you. What do you do that makes you happy? Are there places and people that make you happy? Can you try making a list of all of the things that you can think of that make you happy? You can write them out using words, or you can draw pictures of them. We'd love to see your happy creations, so feel free to share by tagging at Carl Museum on social media. Layla's happiness is featured in the Carl's picture book exhibition, Black Voices, Picture Books as Anti-Racist Resources. To find out more about the show, please visit the Carl Bookshop blog at the link included in the post. On behalf of everyone at the Carl, thank you so much for sharing your stories with us. We hope that you'll tune in next week for another story time. In the meantime, be well. Bye. <laughs>